Well, we're very excited to be involved at the uh, PlayStation uh, Fiesta Bowl. Um, obviously, we had a, a tight game yesterday. Um, lost there at the end. We talk about uh, the games being uh, inches, and we ended up uh, coming up an inch or two short. But uh, very proud of our team, the way we competed. Um, got home last night and went up to the office and worked for about four hours and uh, headed home, got some sleep, and then uh, went and got a haircut today, first thing I did, uh, and then did a little bit more work and uh, now uh, just out on the road and uh, trying to find some good, good players and good people to get back in our program. But uh, I know that uh, our staff and our team is very excited about being in the Fiesta Bowl. Yeah, I think it's it's cool. You know, it's going to um, bring a lot of national recognition. We have uh, a team that um, I, I'm, somebody said that they ended up fifth in the country. So um, just right there on being in the playoffs. Uh, obviously, the committee feels like that they're uh, um, the team that's just right there. Uh, and it'll draw a lot of um, recognition across the country because of their history. Um but I'm, I'm excited about our logo. I'm excited about Oklahoma State and, um, and uh, the way people recognize us now coast to coast. And so um, I think it'll be a heck of a football game. It'll be a great matchup. Years ago, um, we, we tried to work out a series, but um, what I was told is Notre Dame has, has been booked up for a long, long time. So it never worked out. Uh, I thought it would be great for our fans um, to be able to play a home and home with Notre Dame. And um, I didn't realize how far that uh, that they're booked with their schedules. Um, and I, I've watched them a couple times, not the entire length of the game. Um, you know, I'm aware of the the run back. They've got a run back that's rushed for about 1,200 yards and quarterback's thrown for just under 3,000. Um, I know that uh, they're, they're, uh, they've doubled their opponents in scoring average during the year. So, And they've got a fantastic uh, defensive coordinator they named as the head coach. So, as I said, I think it's a, it's a really cool matchup, and uh, we're looking forward to competing against Notre Dame. Well, you know, we just found out a couple hours ago or so that we were playing them, and and I had seen them, um, I don't remember, at some point, maybe watched a quarter or part of a quarter a couple times. Uh, and I said earlier that, uh, you know, I know they have a running back that's rushed for about 1,200. Their quarterback, I think he transferred from Wisconsin. I watched him play a little bit. Um, that, you know, they use a lot of tight ends. Uh, they're skilled and, and they have good players. I mean, they uh, really good players go to Notre Dame. And uh, I know Coach Kelly left and, and went to LSU. And I know Coach Freeman's there now. But, um, you know, as we all know, essentially players play in the games and not coaches. And with them hiring from within, uh, their system will, will stay pretty tight, would be my guess, um, up, up through the bowl game. And uh, so uh, we're going to be playing a really talented team. I mean, the the committee voted them fifth, so they were just right on the verge of being in the playoffs. So, you know, I guess you're, you're, the way you look at it, you're getting ready to play a team that could have been in the playoffs. Well, I remember it being a, a fantastic trip. Um, to, it's an unbelievable atmosphere out there. You're playing a beautiful stadium. Uh, the weather's terrific. Practice facilities. Um, they took great care of us. And, and we had a, a, a real battle with Stanford. They had the first player picked in the draft at quarterback. They had a defense that had been very productive throughout the year. They jumped out on us. We had to convert um, either two or three fourth downs uh, in the second half. And and then uh, they had missed a field goal to force overtime. And we ended up winning the game. And, and you know, that was a battle of two really good teams. Uh, you know, I'm just excited about being back there again. Um, you know, you guys talk all the time to me about doing this forever. And, um, you know, I think it's a, it's a tribute to our organization, to our culture and to our staff to, to be back in the, uh, in the Fiesta Bowl, what would be 10 years later. So I think that's pretty cool. Well, with our team, I haven't really had to do much all year. This is a mature group. Uh, they've handled themselves the right way. They compete each week. Um, you know, we just came up a little short yesterday, but I told them I was proud of them. Uh, they've done everything that we've asked them to do since January. And that's all we can ask of them. And uh, when you put yourself in a situation in a situation like we were in yesterday, you had two really good football teams playing, and uh, unfortunately, one of them had to come out. You know, if we we got two more inches, Baylor would be in the same situation we are now. Sometimes that happens, but um, there's not anything that happened yesterday that can take away from what these guys uh, have achieved this year. And uh, we're going to give them a week off, and I fully expect them to come back. Um, later this weekend um, and be ready to go and excited about playing Notre Dame. These guys are fun to coach. Uh, you, you've been at most of our practices and 
Um, you see that when I'm there, I don't very seldom talk to anybody for two hours. I don't have to. They, they take care of themselves. They enjoy uh, the game. The, they like the X's and O's. They like the grind of it. So um, I'd like to play a lot more games with this team. They're fun to be around. Uh, they've made my job enjoyable every day. So they're a special group. And, um, you know, they were in a lot of pain yesterday after the game, and that's the way you want it to be. Uh, but uh, when we get back together on uh, Friday or Saturday, uh, they'll be in a good frame of mind. We have enough leaders to to get it rolling. And they'll be excited about playing Notre Dame. I know all of us are, and I think it's cool for our fans. And we should have a lot of fans out in uh, Phoenix, in Glendale, um, in a matchup like this with the number five and number ninth ranked team in the country in a big-time bowl like the PlayStation uh, Fiesta Bowl. Uh, I'm expecting that we have uh, lots of orange out there, so we're all looking forward to it over the next few weeks. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.